This is apparently Street Fighter V's final hurrah. March 22 update trailer. So SF5 is done. This is like the last big one. There might be, mind you, there might be another update at some point soon. Uh, like if there's something crazy unbalanced, like I don't think that they will leave the game in a, um, in like a Street Fighter 4 Ultra state. The game was essentially marred by some extremely top tier characters and some extremely frustrating strategies. So I think Ultra Street Fighter 4 is the best version of Street Fighter 4, but everybody hated it, you know? Everybody ended up hating the game at the very end because of the final game's balance. But at the same time, if you didn't want to deal with that balance, you can just switch the versions of all the characters and do all, all the different things. I haven't seen what's in here. I've seen what I appears to be uh, everyone's talking about a, a new graphic setting. I would like to say, and I haven't actually seen the rest of the content in the trailer, that I think Street Fighter V is such a better game than it was before. In fact, the, the entirety of the final season uh, legit had a ton of fun and was pleasantly surprised, even by characters I would never normally play. I, I was like, oh my god, Rose, this trash fire, boring ass character. Get, why the hell would they put Rose of all characters? And they make her the most interesting she's ever been. And legit, I was actually having fun. I was like, wow, this is crazy. So I have to give Street Fighter V at this point and the Capcom fighting game crew um, just to reevaluate a lot of credit. And I think where they have brought the game is a bit more in line of what a lot of people were expecting gameplay-wise out of a Street Fighter game. Long story short, um, I'm curious to see what they're actually going to change in here, because this is mostly going to be about balance changes and adjustments. And um, on top of like the other visual things, I hope they leave Street Fighter V in a decent state. Possibly, and I hope, the best state it ever has been by the time it's like over, because we are about to be jumping into a new generation of Street Fighter. We're about, you know, potentially two-ish to three-ish months away from even seeing Street Fighter VI, most likely. So let's see what the hell Capcom's got for us for the, 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 the last hurrah of this game that felt like it would never go away. The definitive edition. All right. Oh, we get combo videos? Interesting. I don't know if this is new stuff for... That was weird. I don't think he could do that before. Okay, so these are all like new crazy combos for characters. Jesus, Akuma. Okay. All right. What the heck? It looks like that crazy version, like that a fan made of Street Fighter V combos, right? You know what? You know when people, Jesus, good lord! Wait a minute! Wait! 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 What? What did I just see? What? What is going on? What? Off of a grab? Wow. Maybe I'll play Ken in this version. Show me, show me some dank Ken stuff, right? Maybe I'll actually play Ken in this version. Did Jury always have a restand? Okay. What? Interesting. Okay. Okay. What, did he have that before? There there are so many things in some of these characters that have been added over the years that is like additional that I have like not seen. He, the, him him kicking you in the back and you're like, ah! And then him coming forward and you oh, that shit is amazing. Uh, that is a very satisfying ass looking special. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's amazing, wow. Oh, Tatsu leads to a jungle state? Okay. Yeah, this is some equivalent Omega mode stuff. Oh my god! Ugh. <laughs> wow. No, this is legit. This is actually... This is... This... This one... I'm sorry I'm pausing this. This 100% reminds me of that mod a dude did for Street Fighter V characters. 
where like he has he essentially added crazy combo routes and opportunities for characters. Mysterious mod, thank you. There's like a Street Fighter V Mysterious mod that I've never played, but I've always seen combo videos on. I'm like, damn, look at the crazy shit you can do in this game. And to me, it's funny that we eventually got to that point, right? We eventually got to the point where it's like, let's just make this shit fun as hell. At least that's what seems what's going on here. Oh, this is what I actually wanted to see the most. Whoa. Oh, wait, what? What is that? What? Dude, it looks good. It almost looks like a Marvel versus Capcom filter. I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty damn good. This actually is a fantastic art style. I mean, it's clearly a filter. There's some unique imperfections all over the place, right? But... You can't play off uh, online? It looks like a Sam Show filter in many ways, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm assuming the PlayStation 4 version probably cannot do rollback. My assumption is the PS4 version can't do rollback netcode and this filter. The base PS4 version likely can't handle it all. That's my guess, but holy shit. All right, Capcom, you know what? I'm going to tell you right now, uh, if you're testing the art style for a future Capcom fighting game in some way, somehow, with this filter, you're just like, hey, you know what? Let's just see what the heck a, uh, a basic filter. Not even, like, finally super polished. It's essentially just uh, an over-the-screen filter that is, that is messing with stuff. If you're testing the art style for some future games, I'm going to tell you this looks really good. It doesn't... It isn't, it doesn't have the, the super polish of a unique art style, but considering this game is not looking like this originally, it looks very good. This is here to test stuff. Okay, I'm here Capcom to tell you that if you're testing out the pixel filter for uh, future fighting games and you want to see what uh, future fighting games could look like if you made a classic pixel filter, I'm here to tell you that this does not look good. I'm here to tell you that please don't do this. It does not look good. It, uh, I feel like my eyes are being assaulted. Oh my God, this is gross. This is gross. It's like we're looking at the game through a screen door. <laughs> we're, we're looking at the game through a screen door. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. That's good. Grandma's curtains filter. Were these themes not in the game originally? I know there was YouTube videos on them. They were great. Wow, they're actually available in game now, okay. The remixes were not, okay. March 29th, the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Everything just comes out at the end of this month, okay? Yeah, sure. Well, if that's the final hurrah to Street Fighter V, that's a pretty good update, man. I think we can all kind of agree. They, they're sort of, they're, they're doing stuff with the game and taking risks uh, gameplay wise that are pretty damn interesting. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy that they're doing that. I'm kind of curious to see what happens to some characters as well. Um, because this, they just showed off like literally one combo thing per character. Like how crazy is it actually going to get? Like our characters tools and buttons just going to get a lot different too. I really like the filter. I do not know what the hell, what, like how the hell does the filter okay? And you can't play it online. Like I get it. It's the, the PS4 version uh, probably can't support it. I get it, but what the shit dude, like that, the, the pixel filter, I'm sorry. The, the pixel filter looks bad, but the cell shading filter looks legit good. Um. That almost looks like the art style of the game. I, 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 it almost looks like this would be the intended art style of the game right here. If you told me that this was like, this is what the, what the game looked like normally, I would not be, I would not doubt it. I would not doubt it.
The big difference between this and what uh, a company like Arc System Works does, and Arc System Works clearly has like cell shaded looking characters that have their own unique art style. And this is this is doing something very similar. This is a this is a, a really good attempt from Capcom because they have not done a lot of cell shaded stuff, right? All things considered, I don't think Capcom has ever actually done a cell shaded uh, fighting game before or cell shaded style. It felt like if you were to do a Street Fighter Alpha. Right? If you were to do MVC3, MVC3 is not cell shading. No, 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 no. MV Street Fighter 4 is not cell shading style. No, 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 no. There was like paint filters and it, it, those are very different. I guess, th I think the closest one is Tatsunoko versus Capcom, but that was almost limited hardware. This is what Street Fighter Alpha should look like, right? If there was a Street Fighter, a new Street Fighter Alpha game, here's your art style, bam. This is your art style right here. This is this is the way a Street Fighter Alpha game should look. And if you just if it was more polished and just looked better and you had different character models and stuff, I think that would be awesome.